<laughs> oh, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, this is what today I'm gonna shoot. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Give, yeah, you know, right. The idea, the hint of. Wow, cool. You like it? <laughs> I like the, the, the lip, lip right? <laughs> <laughs> We always start with a good laugh, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> today is another awesome shooting day. She is Maria Grazia, a friend of mine. She's an awesome photographer. She photographed me already in the past. Today, what we're gonna do, we are gonna photograph each other. Why are we gonna do the double shoot? For the importance of reversing roles when photographing. Because I feel that as a portrait photography, sometimes you should be on the other side of the camera. So In other words, you know, it's very important, no matter where you are, to put yourself into somebody else's shoes. So basically, I'm a photographer, but I do also do some artwork. Yeah. And specifically portraits of and people yeah. with pastels. And you have a website. And right? I do have a website. Actually, right now I have two separate website. websites. So the idea is to That's combine cool. yeah. and represent who I am as an artist. Yeah. So this is why half of my face is realistic, as you can see. And the other half is supposed to kind of replicate some of my paintings. And then the other one, then she's gonna take out the, the makeup, yes. do a normal makeup, and then we're gonna shoot in other stuff. And she's gonna take pictures also of me and see how dramatic, painful. <laughs> and we're gonna start with this one, right? It's kind of like a magnum, like harsh light. Right, Can you fix your eyebrows, please? I think the, the, the shadow is too, too much, too dark. So we're gonna put a, a white side of the flat so it's gonna be a little bit more smooth, right? Look down, yeah, look okay. down, and then you turn this way. Okay, if you're gonna smile, go for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have a good smile, so you should go. This is too harsh for Maria Grazia, and so... Because the problem is that the D flat on the back, the background that we are using, it's not very... It's warm, worn out. To create darker area there, we shade the, a little light coming from the umbrella, we shade it and, uh, with this on the side. So basically, that's the model, and there is a uh, another flat that is shading the light, and then a black on the other side. So we are sure that the black gets uh, as dark as possible. Ready? Okay. We are not doing a moviola. Yeah, I know, oh, but I can't be too hard on my skin. Oh. Wow. The black is the most challenging to remove. Sure. Oh no. Oh no. I just want to say something. Yeah. We're not only photographers, we're also philosophers. Basically, what, what we, what's the takeaway for us uh, uh, from, from today? today's experience? Well, uh, the first things that come to mind are it's definitely a collaborative experience. So photographer and model, they have to collaborate. Uh, for me, it's 
particularly important that the photographer makes me feel comfortable. Yeah. Okay, Larry, okay, I have a question so, for you. Yep. Considering that you photograph a lot of models and I photograph more regular people, so I, I, I'm curious about this. Um, instinctively, I want to say that it's easier to photograph a professional model because they know how to move, how to pose, etc. But have you ever experienced more resistance from a professional model? It's easier to photograph a professional model, but sometimes the personality of the model doesn't fit exactly the role they're supposed to play the story that you're shooting. So there is a resistance and you see the is not flowing, is not in some way doing what you are requesting to do and then you gotta play around that one. Mm. Yeah. Maria Grazia, I have another question for you. You find easier to photograph a man or a woman or it's both way it's easier in a way? I think that I enjoy photographing both of them. The challenges are a little bit different. You know, to photograph a woman, probably there's more details, you know, to pay attention to, the makeup, the hair, the clothing. And with men, it's, you know, a little bit easier, but I think there are two different types of challenges. Uh, but overall, I enjoy photographing both. I like this answer. Just a fast recap of today, our suggestion is... Uh, the importance of putting yourself into somebody else's shoes sure. once in a while as a photographer. So uh, give direction as a photographer to the model as a, and also... So being aware of how we're giving direction. If yeah. we're clear enough in, in the way we're directing our subject. And give feedback so that the model knows how it's going and making also more comfortable. And now as a good real original Italian. Let's go eat to Alimentare Vineria. We get a, a vino and an appetite. Appetite, appetite. how do you say in Italian? Sì, no, antipasto. No. Antipasto. Dai uno spuntino. So I buy it to everybody and yeah, remember to subscribe and to leave a comment if you like and uh, maybe follow us for some Italian treat. Why not? Why not? Okay, bye, bye. everyone. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>